Hello, let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. First of all, when we start looking at what they're asking, they want us to find the center and the radius of the circle. So in order to find the center and the radius, the best thing to do is to get this into standard form. The standard form of a circle looks like x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. Now if this is the standard form for a circle, the center of the circle is at hk, and if you notice that's opposite, so here I have x minus h, and my center is at the positive h value, same with k, and then over here my radius is just equal to the square root of the right hand side. So we need to get it into this form, and the way that we're going to be able to get it into this form is by completing the square. Now when you complete the square, basically we need to group all the x's together, all the y's together, and then we'll move everything else to the right hand side. So the x's are already grouped together, and then I'm going to leave a space here, and then I will include my y values and leave a space here as well, got the plus sign over here, and then on the right hand side I have my constant, and I actually think I'll write that a little different. On the right hand side I have my constant which was given to me as 1, and then because I have a blank on the left that I added, I also have to add the same amount on the right. So this blank associates here, this one associates here. So what I do to complete the square is I take half of my linear term. So half of 2 is a positive 1, and I square this value. Well, if you add that to one side, I also have to add it to the other side. Now also, on the left-hand side, I need to work with completing the square here. Well, half of a negative 8 is a negative 4, and I have to square that value as well. Now, please note I am squaring the negative and the 4, not just the 4. And, of course, I have to keep that balanced, so I need to do the same thing to the other side as well. So it looks like what we have here, then, is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, then next... I have plus y squared minus 8y plus a negative 4 times a negative 4 is a positive 16. And this equals on the right hand side, 1 squared is 1, and then a negative 4 times a negative 4 is a positive 16. So my next step is to look at this in terms of grouping. So if I had to factor this, this would look like x plus 1 times x plus 1. And guess where the plus 1 came from? It matches the same value that I have up here. Now next I'm looking at y squared minus 8y plus 16. This factors into y minus 4, y minus 4. And again, guess where that came from? That came from right here when I took half of the negative 8 and I have the negative 4. That negative 4 is right down here. It reappears. And then on the left hand side I have 16 plus 1 plus 1 is 18. So we're almost there. x plus 1 times x plus 1 can be rewritten as x plus 1 quantity squared. y minus 4, y minus 4 can be rewritten as y minus 4 quantity squared. And then on the right hand side I have 18. So if I'm looking for the center of my circle, and again, what I'm doing here is I'm following the center from the hk, so it's going to be the opposite. So my x value will be the opposite of a positive 1 from right here, will be a negative 1. And then for my y value, it'll be the opposite of a negative 4 is a positive 4. Now the radius is the square root of the right-hand side. Now, one other thing with the radius, you can break that up into root 9, root 2, factors of 18 that are perfect squares. The square root of 9 is 3, so I'm left with 3 root 2. So I, I guess I can't remember. I guess they wanted the center, and I probably in the next part they'll ask for the radius after you get that entered. But it looks like the center is negative 1, 4, and the radius is 3 root 2. I hope this helps.